guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be talking about a um, TV show or a series review, and this is called The Rain. I'm gonna do season one. I haven't started season two yet, so I really don't know. And please don't do any spoilers down below. Um, I hope you're gonna enjoy my video. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Um, it says, after a brutal virus wipes out most of the population, two young siblings embark on a perilous, sorry, I'm dyslexic, search for a safety. Um, it is a TVMA, which would be mature audience, a 45 minutes per episode, drama sci-fi thriller. Um, I think they're on season three now, and I just, I just started. I think this is a Scandinavian um, cast. And this is rated 6.3 out of 10 stars in IMDb. And I'm definitely gonna butcher a lot of these names. Um, Alba August, Lucas Lingard Tonneson, um, Michael Bo Falsgard, Lucas Logan, Sonny Lindbergh, Johannes or Johannes Kunk, Kunk, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Jessica Dinage. Uh, Natalie Maduenio. Okay, so that's it. I'm not even gonna try. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm butchering them, and I feel like I'm offending people. So, um, I forgot what what I stumbled onto this, but I I, I do enjoy a lot of um, non Hollywood kind of production, um, and I think if you it just it's different and certain scenarios might not apply from um, an American scenario is, uh, or American situation or production, I would say. Um, but for from like um, set in a different place in the world, different writers that are also from that part of the world type of situation, like they have a different outlook and things. And I do, I like that. It's, it's like, um, it's different and it's interesting for me and I like something that's unpredictable. So um, this starts off like, honestly, I didn't understand what it was because I, I, I do like a blind watch now. <laughs> I just, I, I see a poster and it says, oh, this is like 90 some percent match for you. And then I'll just be like, hmm, it's got a few seasons in there. It looks interesting. So I'll just start it. If I don't like it, all you're going to do is stop it, right? So um, it starts off like kind of normal. And then all of a sudden, very, very quickly, changes. Um, I like how it's kind of like post-apocalyptic in a sense. I like those kind of stories sometimes. And it's very, very sci-fi. So basically, this is going to be um, a spoiler there is a virus in the rain um it just says brutal virus on the description but it's in the water it's in the rain and um once it hits you you just die that's it um and it looks like a painful death so there's two siblings that are stuck in a i don't even want to say the word but in a in a in a um a bunker Okay, a bunker. And um, it just, it shows you what happens with time passing by and what happens a little bit after that. Um, I enjoyed everything about this. Just how the characters were, um, how they were made, how their interaction were um the situations how um it also kind of shows this is just first season it also kind of shows a little bit of the background on certain characters and um basically these are just either teenagers or like in their early 20s and they've had to live a life for a, for for several years in fear in really going deep down into animalistic human nature of survival that's it there's no distraction in the sense of tv and social media and um shopping and things like that it's it's basically like you live you try to avoid the virus 
you try to get food, you make sure you have shelter because if it rains, you're probably going to get hit by the rain and you could die. So I love that part that it's really stripped out with all the modern distractions and um, it's, it's just really, really interesting. There's a part in closer to the end of the first season that it was kind of hard. It was kind of like a mixture of elation and disgust at the same time for the same scenario, for the same people. And I'm not going to do any spoilers because I, I, I think it would ruin your time. Um, I can't wait to start season two with this. I don't know when I'm going to start. But um, when I do finish, I will give you guys my updated review on that one. Um, I will give this a... I really, really enjoyed this. I really did. I'll give it the four out of five stars, two thumbs up. I definitely recommend it. If you like um, post-apocalyptic, if you like a little bit of gore, it, it, it can be gory. Um, if you like sci-fi, uh, thriller, um, foreign, but it's dubbed though, so that's easier. Um, I'm not saying I'm lazy, but a lot of people don't really prefer to read, and for me, excuse me, having my disability and my PCS, it really is hard for me to read now. I used to enjoy just like watching subtitles, um, subtitled movies, because I feel like that's a part of the art form, but now with my disability, it, it really is hard for me, and I I feel like I am missing out on a lot of movies and shows which are subtitled and not dubbed because of that. And I also kind of feel a little guilty because I feel like having to listen to it in the language and the real voice of the actors is a part of the art of it. And it's just, this is just who I am now. And, you know, I, I do what I can. I'm not, I'm not really... I'm not really discouraging anybody to watch anything with subtitles. It's just for me, it's kind of harder and I can't really do that right now. And then that's why I can't really review a lot of them anymore for now. Um, I do hope that one day I can get back to that. But anyway, um, if let me know how you guys respond to this show, especially in the first season. Um, please don't do any spoilers because I'm, I really want to watch the, the, you know, the newer seasons. Um, if you want to talk about this, who's your favorite character? Um, Simona is really cool. Um, she is just, I love her. <laughs> um, so just let me know down in the comment section. All my social media accounts are in the description section. If you can't find this in your area, I will try to, I always try to link down below where you can access this particular show. Anything else you want to talk about this show, you want to talk about, um, the characters, the episodes, things like that. Let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And of course, um, all the beautiful words, all the just positive words. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys again next time. Um, if I, if I forgot to mention, if there's any other show or movie that you guys can suggest for me to watch, let me know down below. I am always taking notes and I'm always, you know, I got a list and, um, some of them I'm like getting them in, but some of them might just be in that list still. But, you know, I'm just one person um, and I will get to them. But thank you so much for all the suggestions, beautiful words, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.